Hello everyone, it's Becca from Becca Books and Bujo, and today I have something a little bit different for you. My bullet journal setup for the month of July is very similar to previous months, so instead of telling you what I'm doing in my journal in this voiceover, I figured I would answer the questions from the get to know me in 25 questions tag just for some fun. I saw Krista from Books and Jams doing this tag, and I will also link the original creator's video down below. So here goes nothing. Question number one, what's your channel about? It pretty much says what my channel is about in the title, but it is about me, Becca, books and bullet journals. Question number two, how old are you? I am 26 years old and I will be turning 27 in the month of July. Question number three, what's your relationship status? I am happily married and we have been married for five years. It'll be six years in December. Question number four, did you go to college and what is your occupation? Yes, I went to college at Luther College in Decorah, Iowa, and I majored in math and religion with a minor in French. I also participated in band and choir while at school. Currently, I work as an administrative assistant at my church. Question number five, where are you from and where do you live? I'm originally from North Dakota, but now live in Minnesota. Question number six, looking back, what would you have told your 10 year old self? Two things, I would tell myself to keep playing piano. I am always sad that I quit piano when I did. And secondly, take time to remember things. I am one who does not remember my childhood very well. So I would maybe journal or just try to be fully present, which would maybe help me remember things. I don't know. Question number seven, tell us about your family. My husband, Willie, is a band director. We've been married for, like I said, five and a half years. We have two children, Theodore, who is two and a half, and Mabel, who is almost six months old. We also have two dogs, Bonnie, a seven-year-old Bernadoodle, and Barrett, a five-year-old Golden Doodle. I have a mom and dad, one brother, two sisters, their significant others, one nephew, and two nieces. I also have a mother-in-law and father-in-law, brother-in-law, and soon-to-be sister-in-law. They are getting married at the end of July. Question number eight, what's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. It is just more relaxed than Christmas, but you still get all of that family time. Question number nine, you have no budget. What is your dream vacation? I would love to go to Antarctica, kind of like the cruise in Where'd You Go Bernadette, if you've ever read it, but they um, travel from the southernmost tip of Argentina and go to Antarctica and have day trips. It sounds awesome. Question number 10, name your biggest pet peeves. The first one is a sillier one. The way the toilet paper goes on the roll, it needs to go over. If you put it under, you're wrong. And the more serious one is people who have to one-up every story you tell. So if you're telling something and they need to tell a story that is the same, if not better than yours, really bugs me. Question number 11, what book changed your life? The book that changed my life is called Reason to Breathe by Rebecca Donovan. This is the first book that made me stay up all night to read. I don't even remember everything that happens, but it's about a girl who lives with her aunt and uncle and is abused by them. She is working to get away from them after high school. I read it when I was the same age as this character, and oof, it just spoke to me. It still resonates with me today. I'd love to go back and read this series and see if it still hits the same. Question number 12, what simple invention improved the world? And this one, I don't know, a pencil? We're gonna go with that. Question number 13, list your favorite movies or TV shows. So I really love the Marvel movies. I'm not a big movie watcher, just because I can't sit and focus. For that long on a screen but some favorite tv shows that i've watched in totality are the office and parks and recreation weekly i watch Grey's anatomy this is us a million little things and survivor when it's on question number 14 is describe yourself using three fictional characters so the first one is hermione granger i always have my nose in a book and i have a love of learning like she does. The second character is Meg March from Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. She is a mother and a sister, and I think she just shows her love of family. 
And while I'm not the oldest like Meg, I care deeply for others just like she does. And the third character, I don't even know what his name is, but Mr. Gulliver from Gulliver's Travels. I don't even know if he travels in this book, but I assume so. Question number 15, what is your dream job? Well, the question is what was your dream job, but I don't think I've become what I want to be when I grow up yet, so I think my current dream job is a librarian. I know that's such a typical answer for people who love to read, and I know I wouldn't read all of the time, but I also love to tell people about books. I also love children, and so I could see myself as a children's or school librarian. Question number 16. If magic was real, what spell would you learn first? I don't know if this is necessarily a spell, but I would love to learn how to teleport or transport from one location to the other with a spell. I hate long car rides, especially with my children. I don't mind them, I guess, on my own because I can listen to an audiobook, but with my kids, it's very difficult. So question number 17 is share a favorite childhood memory. Like I said earlier, I don't remember much from my childhood. My memory is just bad, I guess. I don't know if that's common for a lot of people, but I hardly remember anything. So one thing that I remember because it happened so frequently was me not sleeping well. I was always nervous our house was going to start on fire for some reason. So I would climb into bed with my parents quite often. Sorry, mom and dad, now I realize that I, when I have children how difficult that is to sleep. But my parents would tell me stories when I couldn't sleep. One of my favorite stories came from my dad about a made up character named Picklehead Boy. He went on all sorts of adventures in his small town, all with a giant pickle on his head. It was goofy, but it helped me relax and eventually fall asleep. Question number 18, what is your favorite social media platform and why? Really the only one that I use very frequently is YouTube. I at least participate in that actively. I try to post once a week. I am on Facebook and Instagram, but I mostly just scroll and see what other people are doing. I don't post very frequently. So my favorite is YouTube. I love to watch booktubers and bullet journalers and just some lifestyle videos too on YouTube. Question number 19. If you could pick any book character, who would you spend the day with? Just because my love for Heartstopper is real right now, I would pick Charlie Spring. He is so sweet and I would love to listen to music with him and just chat about life. Question number 20. What is your spirit animal? I really had no idea how to answer this. I've never been good with this question. So I turned to the internet and took a spirit animal quiz. My answer was a bear. So this is what it says about that. In the kingdom of spirit animals, the bear is emblematic of grounding forces and strength. This animal has been worshiped throughout time as a powerful totem, inspiring those who need the courage to stand up against adversity. As a spirit animal in touch with the earth and the cycles of nature, it is a powerful guide to support physical and emotional healing. Cool. Question number 21. What old person thing do you do? I think my best answer is that I go to bed early and wake up early. I turn into a pumpkin really if I'm not in bed before 11, but I shoot for 10 every night. Sometimes I'm in bed at nine, sometimes earlier. It depends. And then I try to wake up around five or 5.30 to walk the dogs before the kids get up. Question number 22 is, do you have a hidden talent? And yes, I do. I think it's a talent. You guys might not think so, but I can whistle overtones. So I try to whistle a certain pitch and then a higher note actually comes out. Let's see if I can do it right now and if it actually comes across on the recording. There it was. Okay, question number 23. Where do you see yourself in five years? This is always a hard question. And I recently had a discussion with my friend book club about the book In Five Years by Rebecca Searle and how that question is always asked and why do we need to answer it. But anyways, I think in five years I'll likely have another child. My husband and I are thinking we would want at least a third, so that would probably happen. And then we'll likely be living in the same town. We just moved here a year ago, less than a year ago. So we'll probably still be here, but other than that, I don't know where I'll be. Uh, might be doing something different vocationally, but we'll see. 
Question number 24. Share an item and tell us its significance. Being that I'm not recording my face while answering this question, I'll just show you a picture of what I will talk about. Willie and I decided that whenever we go on vacations, we would buy a magnet from each location. So I just randomly took two off of the fridge this morning and I'll tell you about them. The one on the left is from the Minnesota State Fair. Willie and I have gone to the Minnesota State Fair every August or September of every year we've been together since 2014, except for when they canceled it during COVID. It is always a fun event for us to eat, have fun, and enjoy time with our families. The magnet on the right is from the Houston Space Center. This one has important significance for me because this was the first major trip I took youth on through church. I was in charge of 40 kids on a bus down to Houston, Texas for a little over a week. It was a huge success, we all had a great time, and Willie was able to come and be an adult leader on that trip with me. And lastly, question 25 is now tag some people. So tag your it, Jenny King and Amy from A Star Reads. And do this if you want to, but don't feel like you have to. It would just be fun to see your answers to these questions. These two ladies hosted some really fun reading sprints the other night, and so if you haven't seen any of their content before, you should definitely check out their channels. Let's wrap up the bullet journal setup. I will list the supplies I use down below, just in case you would like to use these colors in any of your future spreads. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video on your way out. Consider subscribing to my channel if you would like to see more content from me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!